And he's behind the count here. Two balls, no strikes on Patrick Leonard. Leonard picked up a hit in game one of the series. And looking to add to his figures here right now. Runner in scoring. 14 hits on the season in 16 games, Leonard. So reasonably consistent. 237 average. And uh, just the one home run on the season. One triple. A few doubles, so a little bit of power there. And I'm sure uh, they'll be looking for a little bit more production from a corner man. So in the in the driving seat here, three and one, and that ball is up for ball four. And not too much damage caused there. Puts a double play in position for the bite. First and second now with one out. But the very dangerous Ryan Battaglia up to bat. Home run hitter. And his last at bat. Was that first pitch? That was first pitch, Angus. Dispatched. Straight over left field's head. And I don't want to preempt anything for Blake, but Brooke is not one to hang around. And for some reason or another, Holovac just sort of. Not really tackling his work with a bit of gusto tonight. Just things not going too far wrong, but just not going enough right at the minute. And I know it's early days. We're only top three. Bit of action in the bullpen there for the bite. Darren Fidge up throwing. And Holovac gets ahead. On Bataglia. Checks Ricard at second again. A little inside move. Got to watch the double steal here with one out. With uh, the very quick Ricard on second. Bataglia likes a look at that. Welch, a great pick up on the backhand. Makes the play to first. Double play. Awesome double play there from the bike. Five to four three. Welch, Cape Bread, Jacobs. And that is a quality play. Sure is. Hard hit ball backhand side of Welch who collected, flipped it to Cape Bread at second base, and he needed to turn that double play, and he did it beautifully. And with a big stretch from Jacobs, they turn a double. And that was extremely important for Blake Holovac. We'll have a short break. Bandit still got it. Three to zip. See you bottom three in a moment. Australia's leading sports organisations have made a pledge to tackle youth binge drinking. Now when you're watching your favourite sports, like football, swimming, basketball, netball and baseball, you'll see this logo. It's all about coming together to have a positive influence on our drinking culture. We're strong enough to say enough. And you can be too. Back your judgement. Stand up for what you believe in. Be the influence.
So Chris Adamson leading off the bottom of the third here on Saturday Night Baseball at the beautiful Norwood Oval here in Adelaide with the Brisbane Bandits showing a clean set of hills at the minute. Whilst I'm on the subject of a clean set of hills, the Sunday Selection, one of our great sponsors, just pulling winners from everywhere. And they've got a great trial here, a great uh, offer for everyone in their first month free. So check it out, sundayselections.com.au forward slash special dash offer. Get on board. Good day to punt Sunday. All the work's done for you. Is Adamson, who was a bit of a wild card in the previous game. Hit a little ground at the first base and a simple put out for Leonard. Second base. Yeah, defensive swing there from Adamson. Good pitch from Searle. Fooled him with the off speed, low and away, and just half swing, bunted it up to uh, first base. Easy put out. So Searle continues on his way. One out here brings uh, Josh Capebred to the plate. Had a good game in game one. Couple of knocks. And the reliable left-hander takes that for strike one. Like a breaking ball on the outside. Second pitch, Cape Red line drive, straight back up the middle. Good piece of hitting. Looked like another off-speed pitch, and Cape Red no problems handling that. To get the bite going here. And back to the top of the lineup. So good chance here for the bite with runner on, one out, and top of the lineup. He's been brilliant today, Josh Cape Red. And he batted a thousand in the previous game. Here he is going one for one in game three. Brock Hebert. Oh, look at the first pitch. The chopper up the middle. And a wild throw from the shortstop. And runners will advance. It was a tough play. He may have had a little time to get the out at first. But uh, Wagon Load, I beg your pardon, Logan Wade, rushed the, rushed the throw a little bit and threw it wild, just wild of uh, first base. Over the 60 foot line and uh, runners advance, second and third. It's a real opportunity here for the bite. Got a feeling against Searle when he's got his tail up that got to take a chance when it's presented. And Wade just seemed to just rush himself. He really made a great initial play on it to get on his bike and get it. And he got inside the diamond and just rushed his throw a little bit as that's flown by Creswell. He's been a little bit in and out. Oh. And the two guys there that could have caught that and the end result is no one caught it. This went into foul territory, 10, 15 metres beyond first base. Leonard was hearing the calls from O'Gorman to say, I got it. So he left it to him, maybe just hung around the play a little bit much. Well, he looked like he had it covered there, Leonard, and, and then got called off last minute. So, uh, Creswell survives, gets another chance. Still, no balls, two strikes. And looking to make some contact here. Infield is back. One out. Fouls it off Creswell. Well out in front of that one. Good off-speed pitch by Searle. 
They'll be looking to go at Creswell here, I would imagine, with the dangerous Welch on deck. Even though first base is open, Searle will fancy himself here to strike Creswell out. And there's the pitch, it's outside. And strike three is called on the swing. There's a ball in the dirt. Creswell checked, but it looked like he went. And Searle strikes him out. So there's two out now for the bite. Runners on second and third. And Stephen Welch to the plate. Welch leading the averages for the bite in his somewhat limited appearances, 26 at bats. Wow. From a general slow starter. Which is a real good sign for Steph. He's been a little in and out. But as we know, the greatest quality of this man is his ability to keep his head down and his mind together, and he gets one. Heads up, folks. Hard in at the hands. And it's yours in Hard in, good quick hands there from Welch. Fouls it off. Don't worry, there'll be plenty of others. Another yours thanks to SA Power Networks. Big scramble there for foul ball. That's a free baseball. The SA Power Networks. And Welch squares up. One on one count. So good cut. In, lowing in on the lefty. Swing and a miss. Swings over the top of that Welch. And that's a really good pitch that one. The left hander's nightmare, that cutter lowing in, breaking hard down on his toes. Comes in again. So, with a, this time with a fastball, Welch pops it straight up. Brad Dutton has no problem with that. And that is side out. The bite threatened, but uh, no result. And after three, the Bandits lead three to nil. SA Power Networks employs more than 2,000 South Australians and delivers electricity to around 840,000 customers. We don't make electricity and we don't sell it either. What we do is deliver electricity to your home. From the Rundle Lantern to our airport, hospitals, schools and traffic lights, power is vital to the function of our state. That's why our team is on call 24-7, rain, hail or shine, to respond to any emergency. Plus, we're taking the initiative to ensure that everyone can access information about their power supply however and wherever they like. We also foster vital connections through more than a dozen community sponsorships. At SA Power Networks, we're working with you to deliver the power you need, now and in the future. Are there few things better on a Saturday night than tuning in on a game of baseball? I don't think so. And we got the best seat in the house. Hoping you're enjoying the presentation, our great team here. A lot of hard work goes into this and that is spanked. Left field, warning track. And taken nicely. 
out there by Brock Hebert. Got a lot of that. But, um, would have been out of the park last season, but a little bit more depth out there in left field. Comfortably taken on the fence. And our man out there all by himself, Peter Kangawai. 